Yo, what's up guys, welcome back to our brand new Roblox video. My name is Floppy, and today guys, we're back inside Roblox Studio. And today guys, I'm going to be showing you how to use negate and union parts inside Roblox Studio. Negate and union parts are very helpful in building especially, and they are relatively easy to use. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can use negate and union parts. So to start off with, we're going to want to get a part or any shape you would like to use for this. But for this tutorial, I'm just going to use a standard part. So we want to use any shape we've got. And now we want to make a duplicate of that. So easy duplication of this would just be control D and then just control and in like that. So I'm just going to make a simple doorway. Now that we have got the two parts that we're going to use for the union and the negate parts, we're going to want to go up to model on the top bar here next to home model. And now we want to click on the part and the area where we want to make it through uh, a gap between. So we're clicking on this part. We'll click negate and it kind of turns into a red see through sort of glass or part. Now we want to go and hold shift and click on the other part we are using. Now we want to click on union. As you can see, now that we have clicked union, we have a nice doorway. Obviously, if you are wanting to remove this gap, we just click separate and you can just take this back, separate and drop it down, negate, union. And as you can see, there's no more part there. Just expand the block wherever you don't want part, all right? This just saves you from having to separate the parts and make separate parts. It's much, much easier. I'm going to show you guys a couple more examples. For this one, we're going to make basically like a tunnel sort of thing. So we want to grab a cylinder. Let's just rotate it around here. And let's expand it. All right, let's make a, what a big one here. All right, now you can see half of the, the cylinder is in the ground. This just allows us to make it kind of like a tunnel sort of thing. Let's just expand it a bit. It's uh, maybe a bit shorter, maybe something like that. Now we want to duplicate the cylinder. So control D. And we can just do it like that, do it like that, then control. And as you can see, we have created two parts in one. So basically now that should be good enough for a tunnel. Let's maybe just go a little bit up and a little bit to the sides. Now we want to click negate on the part and area that we want to remove. So negate. And now we want to hold down shift. So it selects both and click union. Now, as you can see, we have created a nice smooth tunnel without having to use multiple parts to create the tunnel. Obviously, if you want to redo it or, or remove the part from the middle, you just click on the, on the part and click on separate. And as you can see, the negate part has come out. And if you do want to adjust it, you may find the problem if you just go straight with the negate part and adjust it, it will scale massively. All right, and to make it scale easily, I just suggest clicking separate again and it turns it turns it back into a normal part. I'm going to show you guys one more example of using a union and a negate part. Let's just grab a cylinder, turn it this way. Let's expand it, scale it to what we would like. Let's bring it above the surface and let's expand the width of it. Here we go. We make it maybe something like that. Now we're just going to duplicate it again. Control D, size it in and then expand it out. And as you can see, we plan to make a hole straight through it. So let's go negate on the middle part and then hold down shift on the other part, click union. And as you can see, we have made a nice see-through visible hole through a pipe, basically. As you guys can see, it's also visible from the other side, so you can see straight through it. If you guys are a little bit confused on how to use negate and union parts, Feel free to send me a message on Discord and I'll happily help you out. But anyway, guys, I'm going to wrap up the video here. If you did enjoy, I'd appreciate it if you do consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel. I'd really, really appreciate it. But anyway, guys, have a lovely rest of your day and I'll see you guys all in the next video. Peace out.